In this episode of NCAP TV, we're going to show you a trick on how to put a new belt onto a Cymex machine. Stick around. Okay, so first we're going to take the cover plate off and we're going to crack these Phillips head screws. One suggestion you might want to do it manually because if you use a screw gun, a cordless drill, you can strip these out. They can be in here, in here kind of tight. And there's a bunch of them that are around the, uh, the plate. You'll need to take them all off. So we'll just do that first in order to get to the belt. I've already loosened these, so they're coming off pretty easily. And then remove the plate. Occasionally you'll want to change the belt. You'll find that it's slipping and this bowl's not spinning but the motor is. So it's a pretty simple procedure, but there's a couple little tricks to it we'll show you. So the old belt's on here, easy to take off. There's no tensioner or anything. You just simply pull on it and spin it and it'll come off. There you go, there's the old belt. What happens is they stretch a little bit over time, loosen up, and then the center pulley just starts to spin in its place. So the first thing you might want to do is to scuff up this center pulley. It gets a little glazed and can spin on the belt. So I got some 80 grit sandpaper. I can rough that up a little bit really good and uh, get it to bite again. As I spin the pulley, I'm just kind of scuffing it up, cleaning it up, get that glaze off of there. You don't really need to do anything to these pulleys. They're fine. They'll continue to work properly. So here's our new belt, part number 40144 for the carpet scrubber, just a flat belt. And what we're going to do is kind of like a, a bike chain, how you kind of put it on, um, kind of work it on. We're going to do the same thing here with this machine. So we're going to put it on two pulleys and the center pulley. So there's your starting place. And you'll see Interestingly enough, it looks like it's the wrong belt, doesn't it? It's real tight. So the new belt is nice and tight, and that's normal to see that. We're just going to stretch it on there. Um, there is a tool that Cymex sells for it, but we're going to show you the way most guys will probably be putting this on. So you got it on there about 11 o'clock started on the other two pulleys and the center pulley. And we're going to rotate this. Now, if you find that it's really super tight and you can't do it manually, you can grab a pair of vice grips. And lock this corner on here. Now, you want to be really careful and not to lock it too tight or you could damage the flat belt. So I got it on there just moderately tight. And then I'm going to rotate it. See if this goes on easily or not. There we go. So there it started. And now I'm just kind of gently turn it. And it's going to work, it's going to find its center as we work it. See that? It's working its way on to the center of the pulleys. You rotate it a few times, and we're done. We've got a brand new belt on your Cymex carpet scrubber. It'll give you years more of good service. Well, hopefully, this will help you to put a new belt on your Cymex. It can be hard to get it on there because it's such a tight belt. It's a really tight fit. And uh, a lot of times our customers get frustrated with it, but hopefully Rodney's trick there with the vice grip will help you see how to put it onto the pulley. And uh, really it isn't that hard if you just follow these instructions. I'll put a link below also in case you happen to need a new belt. We have them here at Excellent Supply. And as always, we're here to help you max your end cap. Thank you for watching this episode. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe below. That helps us with YouTube. So until next time, thanks for watching.